Welcome back. Coming up on July 16th, First Taste Africa will take place in Birmingham. It's a celebration of African culture with a focus on food from local businesses and education. Joining me now to tell us all about it is Reverend Charles Boyu, Jr. from Birmingham First United Methodist Church. Thank you so much for joining me today. It's good to be with you, Shana. So this is a very exciting event, and it's the first one in a series of events, right? That is right. Okay, so tell me about this series and how it all came to be. Well, you know, a year ago, I became the senior pastor of Birmingham First. I was born and raised in Liberia okay. and came to the United States and stayed. Um, so going to a church in Birmingham, a community that is north of the city, um, and it has a cultural mix there, but not mm -hmm. as much as, say, Detroit. No. And the members long because of their work around the world as a congregation. They do a lot of mission work on most of the continents of the world. And so the concept came up that why don't we lay aside the usual things churches do and just celebrate community, sure. the human community. Yeah. And what better way to do it than to do it around food? Right. <laughs> it's everyone's favorite. <laughs> yes. So what are some of the other events in this series? Will they all be food focused and culture focused? There will be certainly food, culture uh, focused. And in culture, there will be music, there will be dance, there will be plays, there will be uh, uh, on stage and uh, dance routines offered to people to move around. Uh, there will be uh, trivia. Okay. To help people learn more about the focus of the day. This first one is focusing on Africa. Mm -hmm. So there will be a lot of trivia questions on Africa. Yeah. You know, uh, the, the intention would then be it will be annual. So next summer, we will look at a different part of the world and focus on that. The goal being to celebrate humanity, mm -hmm. to celebrate diversity, and not to see those as things that divide us, yeah. breaking or, down barriers. Sure. For mm -hmm. those who are not familiar with African culture, mm -hmm. or maybe they've never even tried any type yeah. of African cuisine, yes. what do they have to look forward to? Uh, one of the food will be jollof rice. Yes. It's, it's a major a dish in Western Africa, mm -hmm. but there will be dish from uh, Eastern and Northern and Central Africa and Southern Africa and music and dance and some cultural sharing from there. Uh, getting to know a little bit more about Africa and Africans and realizing how much we have in common is so much needed mm -hmm. at all times, but especially now. Yeah in this country when there seems to be so much division. Right. As you mentioned, people aren't necessarily thinking of African culture when they think of Birmingham, Michigan, right? right? right. Uh, but this event will be open to everybody, right? Not, not yes. necessarily just congregation members. That's correct. The goal is to celebrate our common humanity. So any human being, regardless of background or uh, hopes and dreams and frustrations and race, ethnicity, culture, nationality, religion, those are not even required. Just be a person who wants to celebrate our common humanity. You are welcome to Birmingham first. Beautiful. And this isn't just like a potluck. These are some, some big restaurants, some well-known uh, yeah. women-owned restaurants from yeah. around the area. Can you tell us a little bit about who will be there? Oh, yes. Uh, uh, there will be four restaurants mm -hmm. uh, providing food that day. Biobab Fair is an award-winning restaurant in mm -hmm. Detroit from the New Center area. They will come yeah. and be there. Uh, Conjure Me, another restaurant in Detroit, will be there. Little Liberia, a Detroit restaurant, will be there. And Taste of Marrake uh, from Dearborn will be there. Our goal is to bring the best food from the best cooks. Yeah, it sounds amazing and delicious. All yes. of the food everyone's going to get. And it's all free. Yes, There's that was no my next question. There's no admission there. Really, yeah. and even the food, everything's free? It's free. Okay. The food is free. Um, everything is free. Of course, our church is also uh, raising money for a cause in Detroit. Mm -hmm. There's a place called Freedom House uh, that needs a modern kitchen. So okay. some of our members are giving towards raising funds to give that 
place that uh, uh, houses newly arrived immigrants mm -hmm. and helps them get on their own feet uh, to get, get a good kitchen, a commercial kitchen. Something you need. Yes. Absolutely. But it's all free and we just want to have fun. Yeah. It's like a community-wide fellowship day. Sure. What do you hope people walk away with when it's all said and done? I hope they walk away with something that is obvious to people who have traveled the world, how common and similar people are, mm -hmm. and how much everyone is looking for the same bottom line. Yeah. You know, those initial things most of us were taught in school about the basic needs of a human being, food, shelter, clothing, mm -hmm. energy, that's all people want. Yeah. People are not enemies to each other. Right. We yeah. all want the same things. We want people to leave there with a better sense of community. Beautiful. And so great to know that this is the first in a series and there will be more like this. Yes. We look forward to more. All right. So for more information, if people want to make sure they know all the details before they head there, where can they find that information? Yes. If you need more information, you go to our website at www.gatheredhereforgood.org. GatheredHereForGood.org. Yes. Easy to remember. Yes. All right. Well, this is Reverend Charles Boyu, Jr. from Birmingham First United Methodist Church. And this is coming up on July 16th, just yes. a couple of weeks away. Yes, a couple of weeks away. And if they want to come to worship, for those who want to come, worship is at 10. And the event begins at noon okay. up to 5 p.m. All right. And so all afternoon, come on down to Birmingham. Yeah. Wonderful way to spend an afternoon. Thanks so much for joining me today. Thank you, Shana. We it's appreciate good to it. be here.